Hey YouTube, hey, you know, I get a lot of people ask me questions, they leave messages in the videos and all, and I try to answer everybody back, but listen, sometimes you got questions, you got to kind of show somebody something, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up with a series of videos called Tips, and the first one I'm going to do it on is the pocket hole jig. I had somebody ask me a question about my pocket hole jig the other day, and you know, they wanted to know about a low cost alternative. Well, I'm going to show you where you can do pocket holes for about 20 bucks. Stay with me. Okay, now you guys have seen me use my pocket jig numerous times. I use it, love it. Can't get enough of it. But you really, if, you know, if you're just doing limited projects, you can get by with buying one of these things. You can buy these uh, up at Lowe's. I think they're like 10 bucks. Uh, you can probably get them online even cheaper. Also, you need this bit. This is kind of like a special bit that has a long tip on it that really, you need to get that with the stop collar. You get that thing. You basically just cut your face frames out and then get a clamp and you clamp this thing down and then run your holes in there. Now, I even, you know, I, I keep this this one in my van because sometimes I get in a situation I wasn't planning on and I need to do some pocket holes out in the field. So I keep this in the bit in my van for just such occasions. And there are other, other, uh, kind of cheaper methods you can use. What I would stay away from, they sell some of these with the aluminum block. I, I bought one of those and that one kind of wore out fairly quick. So you're going to get that, you're going to put a little glue on there. Then you get some of these inch and a quarter screws. They sell face frame screws, but really any pan screw will work. I've even used quarter inch and a quarter drywall screws. They've worked too. You get those. And that's it. So don't feel like you have to go out and spend a lot of money to get started. And that makes a pretty darn good face frame. I hope this tip has been a help. Let me know.